records, two weeks into the Euros. What percentage of you is coffee at the moment? It's a fair bit. I'll tell you what, I'm a coffee drinker normally, so I think I've, uh, I'm at about five, six a day now. I don't know if that's really bad. Seems fine by is me. That, is that okay? Because I'm usually like a three, so I've, I've doubled it for this tournament. You've got to, of course. Yeah. All right, we've got the knockout stage coming up. Interesting group phase, a few surprises here and there. What's your round of 16 game that you're looking forward to? It's tough. There are some heavy hitters there. Uh, from a football point of view, I'm really excited for Austria-Turkey. I think Austria have been one of the most impressive sides tactically with Ralf Ranić. There's a lot of goals, they attack well. Turkey have some of the best fans in, in Germany at the moment and they're very attacking with two teenagers on the wing that love to take on players. So I'm expecting that game to have goals and be really exciting, great atmosphere. Probably not the traditional heavyweights, but I'm, I'll, I'm keen for that one. Yeah, goals have been at a premium in the last few weeks as well. So. Yeah. I'm going to go for the traditional heavy hitters. I've got France, Belgium as my match to watch. Goals probably won't be at a premium, mm. but uh, can Killian and Batman yeah. find a way through <laughs> in the knockout stage? Oh, I think so. I mean, I just can't see it from Belgium at the moment. They're not looking impressive. They're also being really heavily criticised by their fans. France needs to respond after the way they finished their group as well. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think he's the man to lead them. In terms of overall tips, I know you took France a few weeks ago. Mm. Are you still holding out for Le Bleu? You know what? They will grow into this tournament, uh, especially with a fit Mbappe. Kante's looked great. They're going to be hard to beat still. But uh, I, I might go closer Ooh. to you here. Okay. Looking at the way it's drawn, it, it might be Spain-Germany quarterfinal. It should be. A Spain, and I'll say the winner of that. Okay, that's fair. I mean, Germans at home, they're always going to be quite strong as well. I'm doubling down yeah. on my Spain prediction. Yeah, you did well, well with that. <laughs> I hope so. We'll yeah. see if that's still the case in a couple of weeks. Mm. Now, players to watch in the knockout stage. I'm going to lead us off here. I've got the German super sub striker. I'm not going to say that three times too quickly. Yeah. Nicholas Fulkrug. He came off yeah. the bench and he just seems to add something to that German attack every single time he comes in. Yeah, it's great. It's a tournament of super subs and a lot of people are calling for him to start the game, but I think he's doing really well to leave him on the bench. Clearly, he's such a good impact and he could even win the golden boot from the bench, which would just be absolutely crazy. Um, I'm going to go with, I think goalkeepers now start to show their, their real value in the knockouts when we go to extra time and penalties. Donnarumma has been amazing and Mamadashvili from Georgia has been amazing and both of them are going to have to be, especially Mamadashvili against <laughs> Spain. Um, so I'm going to, they're, they're my players to watch because I think the goalkeepers have already been great, but now we're going to get penalty shootouts as well. All right, final question without notice, when are England getting knocked out on penalties? Oh. Okay, here we go. England win the first one, and then they meet Italy in the quarterfinal, and they get knocked out on penalties. That's what I was going to say, too. Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> Let's uh, go for a few more sleepless nights. Let's do it. Can't wait. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.